The terminal in VS Code is a powerful tool, but are you making the most of it? Let me share some tips. First off, there is a new preview setting that you need to enable for an extra smooth experience in the terminal. Right now, if I type a terminal command, nothing really happens. But when I enable the terminal integrated suggest setting, look at this difference. As I'm typing that same command, we start seeing completions appear, and I can then press tab to insert. And there are even dynamically generated completions, which we can see as it pulls in available branches to check out based on what I'm typing. Another place where this is super helpful is with path navigation. So I'm going to disable that setting just so we can see the difference again. When I'm typing, nothing happens. I enable this setting. And again, I'm automatically seeing completions for my available directories. I can just keep typing and tabbing to build upon that path. There are so many other scenarios where this just really improves the experience and feels so seamless. So try out this setting. Again, that's the terminal integrated suggest setting currently in preview. For my next tip, did you know that you can bring up Copilot in the terminal? Use the Command I or Control I shortcut and you will have inline chat in the terminal. It's been a while since I've done C++ and I have this simple program with a Fibonacci method, but I can't remember the command to run it. So I can just ask Copilot and I get a command returned that I can then successfully run. In the terminal, you can also explain or fix errors using Copilot. So I'm going to debug this using GDB. When an error happens in the terminal, you will see the sparkle icon appear and you can select explain using Copilot, which will open chat with an explanation of the error or fix using Copilot, which will generate terminal commands to fix the error. So Copilot recommends a command to actually install GDB. So I can select that suggested command and it will run directly in my terminal. Now we are all set without having to go manually look up syntax or how to fix errors. Before we go over the next tip, do you see how these characters in less than equals are connected? Those are called font ligatures. And let me show you how to enable them. First, you need to install a font that supports ligatures. Fira code is a really popular one. Once that's installed, then in VS Code settings, set the font family to your ligature supported font. Then search for the ligature settings and you can enable editor font ligatures in your settings.json and then you can enable the terminal ligature setting as well. And now you will see ligatures in the editor and in the terminal. Okay, one last tip to show you. If you use the terminal a lot, there's a VS Code command you definitely should know about. Terminal run recent command. This will show you a history of all your recently run commands, divided into sections for the current session, previous sessions, and the shell's native history. Navigating through the current session section will actually take you to the command in your terminal session so you can quickly see the resulting output. And if you press enter for any of these recent commands, it will run it right in the terminal. You can also pin commands or search through the history so that you can run and find your recently used commands in no time. Do you have any other tips that you use to make the most of the terminal in VS Code? Drop them in the comments. And as always, happy coding.